With the deadly outbreak of coronavirus, everyone is sharing basic preventative measures. Wear a mask, avoid physical contact, stay at home. And the most known and most effective one, wash your hands. That's right. But have you ever thought of how effective are hand sanitizers? Do they really kill germs? Can germs survive on a bar of soap? Can you fall sick using a bar of soap? Boom! Too many questions. You curious? Subscribe now. We have all the answers to your questions. How effective are hand sanitizers? Do they really kill germs? Hand sanitizers come in different varieties, such as gel, foam, and liquid based. They're made of alcohol based active ingredients, such as isopropanol or ethanol, and inactive ingredients, such as glycerin and fragrances. A good hand sanitizer should have at least 60% alcohol content to kill germs effectively. But can hand sanitizers kill all kinds of germs? No, they cannot. Studies show that they can quickly reduce the number of microbes, but not eliminate all types of germs. They may not be able to remove harmful chemicals, pesticides or heavy metals from hands. They're meant to be used directly on the surface of your skin without the use of water. After applying, you must rub it over your hands until they're dry. Yes, hand sanitizers can make your hands clean, but it won't necessarily keep you from getting sick. So, it is best to wash your hands properly with soap and water whenever you can. Now we come to the second part of our dilemma. Can germs survive on a bar of soap? Can you fall sick using a bar of soap? The primary purpose of soap is to clean your body, and so it does. When washing your hands with soap and water, the soap surely cleans your hands, but it does leave a deposit of germs on the bar of soap. These germs are mainly your own skin's microbiome and are not very harmful. But in some cases, when your body's immune system is compromised and is unable to fight against disease-causing invaders, you are at risk of infection even from your own skin flora. In this case, you could also get infected or pick up an illness if you share your soap with others. Sometimes the bacteria or germs on one's skin may not be harmful to them, but can be harmful to others. You could also transmit a virus like the common cold or flu via the bar. Sometimes the bar of soap is left wet and gets slimy, which can contribute to the growth of germs on the bar of soap. Hence, it is advisable to wet and lather the soap for about 35 seconds before using the same. Also, it is essential to keep the bar of soap dry between uses to ensure that all germs are killed. Besides, if you have a compromised immune system, then it is highly advisable to use a hand wash to avoid unnecessary contact with germs. That's all we have for you today. To summarize, wash or sanitize your hands correctly until dry. Stay away from germs, be healthy and wise. Be safe. For more such videos, subscribe now.